kids, <laughs> today I was going to teach you how to convert your water bong into a solar heater. But the FCC told WNPC that if I was to pull such a maneuver that they'd hunt us all down like dogs and make us into labor conscripts at Ned's Atomic Dustbin Center for the he Hearing Impaired. So I came up with an alternative, a nice healthy alternative. This is Helen. Helen works at a co collectively owned textile 12 cents an hour. <clears throat> I'm going to the union. <laughs> my hands are at the mercy of the earth's labor. I choke along with my brothers and sisters the sweatshirts of frat boys. Holy smoke and Jehovah. You, you mean that you, you like, you weave those letters without any fancy sewing machines? Yes, but once we sew the letters T, onto shirts that were supposed to read ZTX and 50 frat boys in ZTX t-shirts attacked us. I guess the lace frills added insult to injury. Oh, did you respond with non-violence? Oh, we used our sewing needles and our Joni Mitchell CD anthologies. Oh, wow. Oh, here comes some of your work now. Unity and Brotherhood, we fight till we die. Yeah, I'm gonna go climb that mountain, man. I'm gonna go climb it, and then I'm gonna be up there with... Yeah? Oh, uh, no, don't hang up, man. Oh, I gotta go. Hey, kids. I hope you learned something from today's show. Here are my words of esoteric wisdom. Smoke clothes and forgive your friends for eating aminals, for they know not what they do. Peace. <laughs> Heidi Ho, New Falls, and welcome to Freak $20,000 Pyramid. We got a wonderful show for you today. We've got Telefast versus Psychofast. Oh, it's going to be wonderful. I can't wait. I got a nosebleed just thinking about it. Our first, our first subject is going to be presidents. Take it away, Telefast. I see Grant. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Wilson? Mm-hmm. Lincoln? Yeah. Uh, Nixon? Mm-hmm. Truman? Mm-hmm. Carter? And... Reagan? Yes! <laughs> Great job by our telepaths. Oh, it was wonderful. Now let's see how our psychopaths do with seven deadly sins. Ooh. Like that time, you ate that pancreas and you didn't share any with me. Greed. You were so lazy, you were eating that guy's testicles, and you didn't even want to get up to throw him away. Sloth. Right. Like that time that, like, I wanted to go out and kill a whole lot of people. But envy, you envy, envy, envy. Like, like that time I was having sex with that Marlin, and my thingy was picking out the gills, and lost. <laughs> lost. <laughs> I started masturbating on this thing. Call it gluttony? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like that time that I really decided I hated your guts.
truck stops. Yeah. Oh yeah. A good one. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. 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 Guess again. No. Wait. Wait. No. What are you thinking? No. No. Think again. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Uh, now, now for Team B, uh, famous truck stop in the Northeast. Hi, my name is Josh, and my mission in life is to be an MTV VJ. After a while, it gets pretty boring working here in the uh, tape room, so, um... I guess what I'm trying to tell all of you at, at Viacom is that uh, I'm really, I'm really, uh, I'm really uh, someone that that can do what I think the rest of the VJs can do. I mean, uh, you've got a couple of people there, a couple of good people, but uh, no one really has as much um, soul as I do. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of VJs that, that MTV has, but um, you know, and, and you've got uh, people from all over the place, but. Uh, what you never see on MTV is um, the uh, overweight vegetarian Jewish VJ with bad hair. And uh, that's my ace in the hole, really. That's my uh, secret weapon. Beyond that, I mean, uh, I think uh, what you'll see today is that I'm, I'm a pretty good candidate for the, uh, for the job. Back to work. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 